Okay, so you have been working really hard for year after year after year, taking up more than one job, two to three jobs. And then you go online on Instagram, YouTube, and then you see all these 20 year old millionaire living the life. Now, doesn't matter whether these people rented their stuff, let's not get into that, okay? And then you realize like, how come I'm working so hard, but then I'm still not rich yet. If your subconscious mind are still thinking thoughts, that repel wealth rather than attracting them, then no matter how hard you work, you're not gonna get rich, okay? Now I've been reading a lot of manifestation books over these past two to three years. And a lot of them are very general manifestation books. Now if you want some of these books, link down in the description below. You can read general manifestation books, but then what I really like are the specific money mindset books. So I have a couple, if you want to see more, let me know. This one is a must read for you. This one I'm currently going through it, okay? Now I realize one thing over the past many years, also from having meals with millionaires and billionaires. Now, just a little bit of backstory. My stepfather, he's a CEO of his own company. He built that company from scratch until where it is right now. His wealth is his wealth, my parents' money are their money, okay? And they are also stock investors, then my stepfather is also a property investor, so he does a lot of things. So, because he's doing what he's doing, then he would have a lot of friends who are near his level or better than him, richer than him. So, he would know all these billionaires, millionaires, and then he would bring me to all these dinners with them, then I would listen to their conversations and then see how they behave. Over the past many years, I realized that billionaires and millionaires, they think very differently as compared to those who are struggling. One thing I realized is that they are all very supportive and encouraging people. Okay? Whereas those who are very judgmental, like to criticize people, including me, there are women, older women who come up to me and then be like, just judge me based on what they see on the surface rather than my work, my character. They just look at what they see right here and then be like, so why you don't grow long hair? They are the most shallow group people and they are broke and depressed. Now here's the thing. Of course there are a lot of people who are working class, not super rich, and then poor who are super nice as well. Yes, they are stupid snobbish, arrogant rich people, and yet there are a lot of nice rich people. So I'm not trying to generalize, I'm just trying to break a stereotype because here are some of the things that really, really sabotage your ability to attract wealth, okay? So a lot of books will say, look at what your parents taught you about money. There's a lot more to that, a lot more to that if you're not even careful about it, okay? Because yes, your your parents could tell you things like, do you think money is that easy to earn? Money doesn't grow on trees, okay? And even these phrases are very dangerous to you because if you believe it right now, then your whole entire perception about money is that, oh, I gotta work very hard for money. Yes, you gotta work hard for money, but then there's a fine line, there's a fine line between like working hard on something that is wrong like your ladder is leaning against the wrong wall as compared to putting your time and effort into something that generates more returns, more bang for your buck, the 80-20 rule, okay? Because with this mindset, you gotta work hard for your money, it's quite dangerous because it might brainwash you into thinking that, oh, I gotta work a lot of jobs to become rich, rather than, okay, how can I find ways to invest my money, make my money work hard for me? So whatever your parents say is going to affect you, okay? But what a lot of people don't talk about is movies, newspapers, social media, news websites. You know, even for Singapore, okay? A lot of news outlets like to publish clickbaity titles that make the rich people look really bad. Now, there's nothing wrong with this because they want to get clicks. That's their business. They just want to get clicks and views. A lot of times when a luxury car driver gets into an accident, the title would be something like Mercedes-Benz driver, BMW driver crashes into traffic light. 
then a lot of comments would be like really jealous people who would probably say things like oh rich enough to buy a luxury car but can't take a proper driving lesson something like that then some people say all oh, these rich people think that they own their road now here's the thing this morning i just woke up i press on facebook first two posts are about billionaires the billionaires in singapore then selena gomez just became a billionaire then my first reaction was like that's really inspiring now if you're taught the moment you see rich people whether they are driving a lamborghini ferrari if your first thought is something like they probably scammed their way to the lamborghini showroom you're never gonna become rich because the universe says that okay the universe says that you will repel whatever you hate and dislike so if you really don't like rich people okay you won't become them then you become poor think to yourself right now the moment you see somebody doing well financially what is your first reaction because there i know there are a lot of insecure haters behind the keyboard they are broke as shit living in their mom's basement all they do is type and the other thing is movies so many movies i know a lot of you watch movies i personally watch it like wolf of wall street and a lot of movies they try to portray the rich person lifestyle as something that you should escape from because there are so many movie plots okay that are affecting your subconscious mind without you even knowing it so many movie plots even disney channel movies that has a storyline that goes something like this rich woman trying to find love okay met a lot of rich prince handsome young rich men but then she doesn't really like any of them but then she saw a very poor man from an isolated village and then fell in love with him then she decides to leave her wealthy family life and then go to the village despite the disapproval from their family from her rich family and then she went to the village and lived happily ever after and then another one wolf of wall street of course what jordan did wasn't right but then the whole plot is brainwashing you in a way because works hard to get rich he gets addicted into dumb shit and then ruins his own life then the whole entire story is like wealth doesn't bring you happiness then some people will watch this movie and then be like you know what being so wealthy doesn't even bring you happiness and speaking of this if you have this mindset being rich doesn't make me happy anyway you probably don't know where to shop or you don't know where to travel for real I have been broke. I have been financially free. I would choose rich any day. And here's the thing: a lot of people, they also like to have this mindset that oh, if I'm not rich, okay, I'm doing a favor for the society. I'm being a good person. Now, not wanting money doesn't make you a good person. How does it make you a good person by financially struggling? You think about this, like. Who are the people who donate the most to charity in this world? You can hate Bill Gates all you want, hate Warren Buffett all you want, but they donate more than those people who just sit behind the keyboard and talk about how bad rich people are. They help more people in one day than all of them combined their whole entire lifetime. How is being not money hungry beneficial for society? Now I'm not saying that you should oh. I need to be money hungry, money greedy. Don't care about family. Just focus on money. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that you wanting a better life for yourself, more money for yourself, doesn't make you a bad person. In fact, it makes you a better person. Because if you constantly feel like, oh, if I have more money, I don't deserve this because there are many people out there who needs this money more than me. If you constantly think like that, you're not going to become rich. Because the universe is gonna be like, oh, he or she doesn't really want money anyway, so let's not give it to him or her. And also, a lot of movies also portray um, this hardworking woman or man, okay, work so hard to earn money, and then he neglected his family, his children, and then he reaches the end of his life and then regret. 
then he realized what is most important that money is not everything you see how these movies re brainwash you into thinking that okay i shouldn't focus on money at all let me just focus on family now uh, i've met people let's not label who is it but he is in my family but this person is focused on you know living the meditation life living the life of simplicity zen helping people by volunteering his time okay but then at the end of the day he's broke and then have to ask me for money to feed him and if i don't give him the money he will guilt trip me so how is this so-called living a zen peaceful life when he's so stressed out about money all the time because if you truly want to become like a monk helping people and all that you need to be rich because like even if you read this book eh, i no longer believe that people with money are greedy some of the most charitable philanthropical and generous people i have met come from wealth not only for this author but personally for me too some of the kindest nicest people contribute most to charity even my parents they contribute to charity personally for me too all have money and some of the meanest people who goes around dragging me down dragging other people down they're all broke and depressed so how does being rich make you an evil person you gotta remove that mindset see money is just like a tool okay it's just a tool you can use this to kill the freaking haters or you can use this to just now just use this to open a book a package of books so that i can educate myself it depends on how you use it the tool itself is not evil it depends on how you use it all these mindset like money doesn't bring happiness anyway money doesn't solve all the problems actually it does you know like there's so many problems that can be solved by money money is not the most important thing in this world money doesn't go on trees i'm comfortable with just getting by don't need to be too rich like just scraping by i'm fine with that as long as i have a roof over my head rich people are just greedy scammers core sellers like imagine using core seller as an insult a lot of people do that including this morning i received a couple of comments like this if people don't sell courses how do i buy them and improve myself rich people are just greedy if you keep on having all this mindset you see a billionaire on social media and then you'll be like freaking scumbag you're not going to become rich especially to those keyboard warriors who just really don't like rich people continue to be broke continue to be broke you're so good right so good that you're mooching off your parents living under their basements go and watch dr phil so many of these kind of people yep you're so great mooching off your elderly parents because if you read this book okay there's a well file over here a very interesting point over here okay it says rich people admire other rich and successful people poor people resent rich and successful people i can tell that there was a point in time where i was broke i really hate it when i see those successful people on social media posting themselves speaking on stage living a great life i hate it and that's why i was broke and the moment i mix with these people and change my mindset then gradually i start to attract wealth you have to realize that if you view rich people as bad in any way shape or form and you want to be a good person then you can never be rich good person living in your mom's basement how can you be something you despise so my parents they they have a couple of membership three golf club membership so sometimes my mom would bring me there and then i'll sit there okay it's a totally different environment then we met a gentleman whom my mom knows and then he came up to me the first thing he said is a compliment oh you look great today whereas if i sit outside of the country club of course they are nice people but when i sit in a coffee shop you know, there are a lot of judgmental people 
would come and insult me and would say the most hurtful comment about the way I look. Because when I ask my mom, because my mom knows these elderly women, then she is like, oh, please practice some compassion for her because she is really depressed and broke, struggling with money. Then I replied my mom, that doesn't give her the right to come and insult the way I look. Then she's like, you know what, just be compassionate. You know, cause she, her kids don't really like her. You know, so, yeah. Also another pointer, rich people are willing to promote themselves and their value, okay? Poor people think negatively about selling and promotion. Like, those people who are so pissed off just because I teach trading, and a lot of times those events are free. Imagine if I sell a $3,000 course, they are gonna jump off a building and burn themselves because they are so angry. 10, 15 years ago, a lot of people respect investing and trading gurus now. People just assume that me and all the investing gurus, trading gurus are scammers. Now personally, I know a lot of investing gurus who are my friends. They don't really post this, that, but behind the scenes, they are enrolling in university courses, then taking exams. Currently, I'm taking an exam, a trading exam to improve ourselves. If you are really pissed off by somebody, selling their stuff, you constantly see their advertisement, just block. You don't need to engage and then comment a long paragraph and be like, this person doesn't earn all their money from whatever he or she is doing, he's just selling courses. Ray Dalio is teaching masterclass and he has how many books published? Way more than me. And he's one of the richest hedge fund managers in this world. And also one very important mindset you gotta remove is rich people are just lucky. Now, if you have this mindset, man, you are not going to work hard. Now, I know just now I said you don't need to work hard to become rich. You need to work freaking hard on the right things. Like, for example, investing, value investing. Like, I know Netflix is there. How about use that time to study value investing or trading? Because if you have this mindset, okay, rich people are just lucky. You will be lazy as shit because there are so many people on my YouTube channel, okay? I love my followers but sometimes you're just not committed enough. I spent my whole entire 20s working and studying so hard that I couldn't even remember when did I party. In fact, I don't think I went to any parties. I don't recall right now. If I look back at my 20s, all I see is just me sitting in my desk working, studying on something. And there are people who complain about studying, trading for 6 months and still not getting where they are. Now, go and read this book, okay? This guy is a US investing champion or trading champion, okay? It took him six years to become profitable. Six years. The average trader takes three years. Now, it is so easy for him to say, you know what, maybe this is not for me. You know what, maybe trading is not my thing, investing is not my thing, finance is not for me. He could have easily said that. If that doesn't inspire you, I don't know what will. Because the thing is, if you're not truly committed to creating wealth, you're just doing the bare minimum, treating this like a hobby, you're not going to get rich. Even in this book, even in this book, okay, there's one page that says, are you willing to work 16 hours a day? Which people are. Are you willing to work seven days a week and give up most of your weekends? Which people are. Are you willing to sacrifice seeing your family, your friends, and give up your recreations and hobbies? Which people are, and I'm not saying you should do this for the rest of your life because I don't want you to neglect your family. But for the first few years when you're building things, working on that skill, you gotta sacrifice. Are you willing to risk all your time, energy, and startup capital with no guarantee of returns? Which people are? You know, there are so many times people ask me to donate money for their trading accounts and if I say no, they are going to curse at me. These people are not willing to put in their own capital. I recommend a book, okay? Let's say a book. Then some of you would say, Karen, could you give me a summary PDF file? I'm not going to read such a thick book. Go back to your job. Don't pursue trading, investing, this is not for you. This is not for you, for real. 
you're just not willing to put in the hard work. Like if you're not getting the trading investing results that you want, be honest with yourself. Have you been putting the hard work that is required? Because you know that for my competitive swimming, okay? I've been constantly just getting third place, third place, fourth place, fifth place. Never went to second place, first place this whole entire year. Then last month, I stopped swimming. I reflected on myself. Why, why am I like this? Then I realized I wasn't willing to go all in. Because in between practices, I was eating hot Cheetos. A lot of hot Cheetos almost every single month. So that's why this month, I changed my team, changed my coach, who is more so-called strict, brutal. But then it's better for me because I know that I didn't put in the work, so I need somebody to hold me accountable, okay? And also another very dangerous um, mindset is rich people are just talented. Now this applies to anything that you pursue, whether you want to master chess, sports, if you look at your competition and be like, all the people who are better than me are just more talented, smarter. Go and read books like this. Then you know that the top chess players, top chess players, actually have lower IQ than the average chess players. And a lot of top violin players, a lot of so-called math prodigies, talented athletes, got there not because they are the most talented but it's because they put in more hours of deliberate practice so if you think that okay this trader is smarter than me investor is smarter than me i'm just not born for it then think again you want to start a business oh i just don't have the business acumen like the other guy well because the other guy worked harder than you while you're just sitting here contemplating about the fact that you are not talented enough, smart enough. Of course you're not because you didn't put in the hours of deliberate practice, but if you are willing to put in the hours, you can be just as good, if not better than them. Okay, so if that is your major mental block, go and read, okay? Go and read this book, okay? Because it's going to totally change your mindset, even for school. Like if you feel like you're bad at math, there's no such thing. No such thing. Like high IQ helps while you're learning something. So that person with high IQ, they're going to pick up things a, a little bit faster than you. But then as the years go by, as the years go by, that IQ advantage is gradually diminished because as the years go by, who is going to get ahead is determined by who is willing to practice more. That's it. Now these books are sponsored. I'm just sharing with you the books I love. So if you want to learn value investing, let your money work for you. Okay? I'll put the stock investing video somewhere here. Talk to you in the next video. Bye.